I think he's lip syncing though. His, his lips are <laughs> yeah, messed up. I'm gonna call him out. Oh, 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 oh! There was a lot happening in that moment. And welcome to GT Not Live, where today is actually a huge day for us, for content, for animatronics, for horror. And normally, when I would start an episode like that, you would think that there's some sort of like new FNAF announcement or a trailer. I was about to say, did FNAF Part 2 drop? Oh, FNAF 2? <laughs> FNAF. FNAF Movie 2 Part 1? <laughs> FNAF 2? I'm like, what era of FNAF is this? <laughs> FNAF Part Two? Uh, no, the FNAF movie Part Two. That would be that would yep. be a big announcement. That'd be great if you could do that, Blumhouse. Please. I mean, they're gonna do it. Like yeah, but, the, the but, first you movie, know, like get on one... it. Oh, get on it. <laughs> Give the <Vamanos>. man. <laughs> the movie just premiered. Like it was a couple months ago, man. At the rate that these things are supposed to come out, it's true. With the FNAF franchise, right? We're coming up on the six month mark. And... Yeah, yeah, you should have like three more, you know, like filmed. <laughs> yeah, now right. they probably are. They're probably just rolling out. <laughs> isn't that what they do with Avatar? Like, isn't that the whole yeah, thing? They filmed two and three together, and like he's already thinking about four and five, which are written, and then like six and seven, which he was like, I probably won't direct those. <laughs> Probably. That's weird. That's a weird strategy. That's also a very big bet to have placed on Avatar. But I mean, also. That also it worked. It made like $2 billion. How did it make $2 billion? That, did you see it? I did. I also saw it. And I think we were the only two people that I know who saw it. Right? Like, But somehow. Right? Uh, Avatar 2. Did you see Avatar 2? Yeah. Did you go see Avatar 2? Because apparently enough people saw Avatar 2 to make it like a $2 billion movie. And yet... I don't believe that. Is that what did did Disney do something weird with that one? And just like Ooh. like that's a theory. That's a theory okay, for you. Okay. That's a film theory for you. We got this. We're yeah. going to we're going to crack this wide open. Yeah, you you are going to make Disney just as mad as I did and I'll be so proud of you. If anytime Let's go. anytime we can make Disney cry, I feel like that's a win. Is that why you're not allowed at Disney World anymore? Yeah, it is unfortunately. That's truly tragic. No, literally every time I walk into Disney, someone with mouse ears comes up to me and escorts me <laughs> off the property. They're like yeah, <laughs> it is. Sure, you're going to have to come with us. <laughs> Whatever facial recognition <laughs> software as you enter the gate, it's like, red flag, red flag. I'm like, hey, Ollie, let's go ride the teacups in there. Sir, we need yeah. to talk to you. You specifically must leave. Yeah, no, like, your, your child, please continue spending like yeah, $50. Enjoy dollars a magical day. Yeah, uh, <laughs> please spend $50 on a churro, okay? <laughs> <laughs> i tell you what, it'll hey, be the hey, most magical churro of your life. I was about to say, the churros are pretty good, though. It's true, <laughs> it's true. But please take out a second loan to afford your Mickey Mouse candy bar. <laughs> the, Mickey, the Mickey Mouse ice cream. Mickey Mouse mortgage. Yeah, Mickey mortgage. Your, <laughs> your Mick mortgage. No, that's that's <laughs> no, McDonald's. Yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> that's a different. That's food theory. Uh, so anyway, hi, hello everyone. Uh, no, there is no new FNAF news out there, but there is new animatronic horror themed restaurant news, and that is that the Walton Files, after many a year, uh, has actually uh, wrapped up. Right, Walton Files Four is supposed to be the finale of Walton Files. As I understand it, Am I believe I... so. That that is always the lore I have heard. Right, that's the lore that I understand. Ash, is that the lore that you understand as well? As I understand it, that is the lore. Okay, well, so ladies and gentlemen, it's a very exciting time because Walton Files Four has just released, and I've been looking forward to this for a long time. I think it's like Walton Files is basically like the I don't know the R-rated version of FNAF, or it's like if you took FNAF and then you cranked up like all the just like sadness and human drama and like dread and made it more realistic and it's like oh this is what this franchise actually is talking about but in a more realistic way yeah like this is the abject horror of the idea yeah. of hey we stuffed child bodies into these animatronics yeah it's like ha -ha, isn't that fun yeah it's like ha -ha, lol people are dying left right and center by and... the plush yeah <laughs> by the mer the funko pop yeah. um but walton files takes that and it's like no but really Let's actually apply real-world logic to this and, and talk about how horrific this is. But now it's a burger restaurant. Um, so we've done a couple theories about Walton Files in the past. Uh, we've reacted to, to past episodes and kind of like some of the ancillary content here on the channel. And so I'm really excited to see how the story concludes. Um, basically, to summarize, it is your typical FNAF fair, right? Like there has been horrible things done and children's souls and, and adult souls too have basically found their way into these 
bodies of various animatronics, right? So there's there's Bon the Bunny, who seems to be the ringleader. Still not 100% sure who that is. We suspect it's it's Jack Walton, who's kind of like the, the main figure of the whole thing. Uh, you have uh, Shaw, who is a sheep, and that's a, a woman named Rosemary. You've got uh, a bunny, a little plush doll that seems to be, I believe, Rocket, I believe. Is it Rocket Rabbit? It's been a while. It's been a long time. Uh, but I believe it's it's Rocket Rabbit that's possessed by the souls of two kids who died in a car crash uh, that was a drunk driver uh, done by the co-owner of uh, Bond's Burgers, the, the main pizzeria. But uh, Felix Kranken is that guy, and he like guy goes on a drunken spree, gets into an accident, uh, and the two kids end up dead. And I believe that, they're, as our theory goes, their spirits kind of jointly possess this rabbit. Um... And then that, you know, and that's basically it. There's other characters, there's other animatronics, and they all have their own individual souls in them uh, through various means and methods. Uh, and it's horrifying, it's scary, it is dark and twisted, and it's like analog horror at its finest. So I'm excited to see it. Same. Um, so without any further ado, I, it's, it's 36 minutes, so we better hop into yeah. it. Let's uh, go. You, let's, let us begin. <clears throat> let us begin. <laughs> Thank you for pulling up Sonic 3. Um, Ice Cap Zone. And we were listening to this before. Uh, ooh. Funky. I don't think this is going to flag us. Hopefully not. Video game music yeah. tends to not flag. Uh, fun fact. Uh, this is actually my go what, what I'm listening to currently when I'm writing and polishing scripts. Nice. I, that, I, that is a good choice. I, I rotate through various video game songs. And actually, as you look through the suggested yeah. video, before this, you could tell... The final boss of Sonic and the Hedgehog 3 was what I was listening yeah, that to before. Yeah, that is all the way. The red bar at the bottom there, all the way at the oh, end. Oh, multiple yeah. times all the way. Yeah. <laughs> boss, no. boss Big Arms, that's nice. definitely one. I haven't been listening to And then they're like, oh, this guy must I like how this is a song. universal experience mm -hmm. amongst everybody. It's like a... <laughs> I want to listen to this extended chill version. Yep. Preferably... If there's not like a, a, a drum and bass beat, could we get a lo-fi thing under it? <laughs> yeah, right. Like, that great. No, it's true. Even aquatic ambiance. That's oh, yeah. that's that is my classic code. I have that down. I have this ten hour version. No joke. Download. I have that ten hour version literally downloaded onto my Perfect. phone for that's planes. A, that is, oh my. I have um for years I have fallen asleep to uh this like sleep mix of yeah. classic World of Warcraft music. <laughs> nice. But it's a mix I, though. Yeah, like so they just took a bunch of like the different yep. zones and put it together. And added like rain effects. <laughs> yeah, that's you awesome. Know? Yeah. Right? Yeah, slow down the beat and a little. I, the beat like, a little bit. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> and I, I have likewise downloaded it because you never yeah. know. Right? No, you don't know. Like when you're on a plane and I'm working on a script offline or whatever, I need something to listen to. Yeah. Or if there starts to be a lot of turbulence and I'm like, oh, I'm getting nervous, I throw it in and I'm like, okay, this is, this is gonna. Yeah, this is we're we're chilled out. Yeah, aquatic <laughs> ambiance. <laughs> Lo-fi like, beats I... to to die in a plane crash too. That hits real. <laughs> that's that's tapping into some deep deep fears of mine, Lee. Thank you for that. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Glad I could help. Great. Like, Get let's, ready for the animal let's horror watch stuff. The animal let's horror. walk watch the dread. Uh, before we do, I do, I do got to ask Ash. Do you have any equivalent of that? It was to the point that this actually broke my Spotify Wrapped last year. Yeah. Um. So the songs I listen to are from the Apollo Justice Ace Attorney Apollo <laughs> Justice <laughs> soundtrack. That, that <laughs> um, this is the Child of Magic, which is Trucy's theme song. Yeah. Let's do this, which is Athena's theme song on yeah. the Dual Destinies soundtrack. Yeah. Um, and I think just like the courtroom theme on mm -hmm. the soundtrack for the first game, but oh. I loop those all the time. Yeah. Yeah, that it's a problem. Yeah, right. That is, out. is this all of our childhood games, by the way? Like, so, like, I think that's an interesting thing. What I wasn't much of a Sonic guy. Like, I did not own a Genesis growing up, and so I had to always go to a friend's house to play Sonic, which was awesome. But it was always, you know, it wasn't the game that I played more than any other. It was that was a very special thing. But like, that was a game that I played growing up. Donkey Kong Country was a game that I played growing up. So I find myself going back to some of the songs from that era of my yeah. gaming life span and not like modern songs. Say, World yeah, Warcraft was same. Yeah, like I, I started playing that when I was like 11. Yeah, yeah. Right. And, and similarly, uh, I also grew up on Donkey Kong Country. Yeah. So like D Country 1, Country 2. Oh yeah, sure. Those Aquatic are con yeah, Sticker Brush Symphony and stuff the, like that. In the rotation. Sticker Brush, that's always on mine. Yeah, uh, and like old school, like Metroid Prime as well. Where Ooh. it had like synthy. Oh, they did have, yeah, they had, yeah, Metroid Prime was that very like atmospheric, like vibey yep. style. It wasn't so much like, here's a looping song with a melody. It was more just like, it set a tone. Yeah, and it was fantastic oh, stuff. Man. Metroid Prime. So, but that, yeah, yeah, that, that is an, an interesting, and obviously, yeah, Apollo yeah. Justice. You yeah. simply gotta listen to Apollo <laughs> Justice <laughs> soundtrack. Right. Now, I, I was gonna say like that, that is very interesting observation. Maybe something Tom should get on. 
Oh. 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 Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> the girls are fighting. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I pulled out my Michael Jackson. Woo Probably because I was listening yeah, to Sonic Hedgehog Sonic. 3, which we all know he did the music for. That's, or at least yeah, contributed. Not, not even a meme. No. Yeah, not a meme. actually did. Not a joke. That is just a fact. It's I think just that's, true. Yeah, that's been yeah. straight up proven at this point. Yeah, it was a rumor for the longest time. Yeah, like, I remember. In, in the last, like, decade or so they after he died, it. they were like, yeah. no, this actually happened. Which is... Awesome. And also probably a big contributor to why the music is so yeah, good. Why, why it's a bop. It is so good, man. I love it. All right. So Walton Files. Walton yeah. Files 4. Horror, am yeah. I right? Yeah. Let's, let's talk about some awful things happening to some poor, innocent people, shall we? Uh, so Walton Files 4, Cyberfun Tech. I'm curious about how this is going to take form, too, because past installments of Walton Files, if you're unfamiliar, have really told the story in very different ways, right? You have, you know, kind of this, like, puppeteered... Uh, like 2D animated style to them. Then the Walton Files 3 was very much in the style of like an old school video game. Yeah. And you were kind of doing a let's play with this old video game that was inspired by Bonds Burgers and stuff. Um, and you had this kind of let's play narrative kind of playing out, which was really, really interesting. So I'm curious where 4 has gone. Because I also know that this has been a project that's been a long time coming. Um, and, and one of those where you can see like just how skilled the creator has gotten over the yeah. years and like, yeah. Great job. Yeah, in yeah, in their in their storytelling ability, in the the way in the, the ways and techniques that they're telling the story. Yeah, the little like animation techniques and post production yeah. stuff that they've been doing. Super yeah. cool, and it, it feels so <laughs> differentiated in the space too, because it it's you know there's a lot of like three D animated or like I'm riffing off of you know models from like the Five Nights at Freddy's games, things like that. Yeah. But that two D puppeteered kind of like you know style Almost like cut out like south park adjacent yes yeah. yeah that's a great way of describing it like cut out like south park adjacent where it is everything's a little bit choppy and and things are moving in pieces and parts like paper dolls almost yeah. in a lot of ways um or marionettes in a lot of ways. it gives it this very surreal very off-putting uncanny valley sense to it which just adds to the discomfort that you feel watching it i think which is fascinating so anyway without any further ado ladies and gentlemen this is our live theory crafting about walton files for cyber fun tech. Let us begin. In the beginning, there was, <laughs> there was a balloon. Oh, it, it, we're doing some it homages now. Gonna be a Pennywise the Clown popping out. Yeah, film theory. Do they all float down there? <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Well, if you yeah. analyze the body <laughs> proportions of these characters, Oh, wow, it's real? That looks real. Oh, or, or, or like very like painterly. Stock, yeah, yeah, right? Okay, so this... Oh, interesting. All right, so uh, to, to recap for people who haven't watched it or haven't gone back to, to rewatch things, the, this is kind of reversed back in time. The last episode, we saw that there was this spring dance or this spring event, right? And these, I'm assuming that these are the kids. Uh, the two children had to be picked up by Felix, who and, and brought home by Felix. And Felix was getting drunk. He was, you know, having a having a grand old time for himself, but should not be on the road. And he takes the two kids. And so I'm assuming this is rewinding back in time and showing us potentially the death of these two kids. But yeah, it, it was all framed around this kind of like spring dance event. The art style is great. Mm, yeah, hundred percent. So this is, I. It seems like this is indicating, like, oh, this is going to be the origin story of Rocket. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Oh, sorry. Let me make sure that there's closed captions on if it needs to be. Yeah. Right. You mean the school? Such a unique style. I was about to say, like the. Look. There he is. There he is. Be like a. Uh, clean, cartoonish art on, yep. like, the, the sign compared to the adult zone. Yeah. So, again, this is what we saw told in a very different perspective. Yeah. So, last time it was told in kind of this top-down video gamey perspective where you saw their journey through this video game setup, which was a very unique way of doing it. But now we're seeing kind of, like, the real version of it. And, yeah, it was clearly delineated that there was the adult zone where Felix was, you know imbibing a little bit too much, uh, having a bit too big of a celebration there. Two balloons and five balloons. Wait, where is he? Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, just have to Oh! I, yeah, I mean. I see you. 
I see you. See if it means anything. Morse code. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I am wondering how clean, if this is the final installment. How, how well does it wrap up and tie a bow? Yeah, like how many, are the, is it just giving us answers to stuff that we've been theorizing about? Or is there actually going to be like, hey, we're, we're leaving still stuff open to interpretation? I mean, that was pretty open to interpretation. <laughs> right? <laughs> I mean, that, Obvi that, that, seems, that seems to me, that this is classic imagery where it's like, hey, we're walking out, we're walking into a light, and now we're in some sort of idyllic land, I mean. Beautiful, I yeah. did. Man, but, if this is heaven, I don't know. I mean, but, but like, it's nice-ish. <laughs> it's nice-ish! Yeah, you know. Yeah, I, I can feel the mist on my face, <laughs> and it, it's probably a nice, comfortable, like, 62 degrees. Yeah, the, the draw distance. <laughs> you say this is kind of like, Ah, oh, the idyllic Silent Hill. I mean, I mean yeah, like, like it, it's too, it is the characters walking into a light mm -hmm. and then being transported to something that is less man-made and more yeah, generally, naturalistic. yeah, naturally, I see the fence there, obviously, but that traditionally that is usually the symbology for, oh, they did. Yeah, right. No, and I, I, I think you're right. The one thing, and who knows, I'm, uh, we might see this again later, but it's one of those things that I see this and I'm wondering if this is more of a purgatory. Where you're right, sense. you're right, like a hundred percent agreed that like them walking into the light is them walking into death in some capacity. But because this is a very neutral zone, you know, like ice cap zone. <clears throat> <laughs> Sorry, uh, still got Sonic songs running through my head constantly. It's very, it's very neutral, and also with the the uh, the fence, the, the fence implies like a farm or a barn, right? And and these characters are you know like a sheep and yeah. a, a rabbit, right? Like, yeah, it's they're they're out to pasture now. Uh, I could also see a fence being there as, like, a gateway between one world and the next. Kind of mm -hmm. like you're not fully there. Like, there is there's something, something that's, obstructing you. Yeah, yeah, there's something holding you back. It's also why it's it's not pleasant. Like, that's why it's the grass yeah, is gray. Yeah. That's why that Or that's why the grass yeah. is brown. That's why it's, like, gray mist, you know? It's not, it's not pleasant, as it's, you were about to say. Right, exactly. Hard cut. Hi. I, we had audio problems. My jacket was the worst. Anyway, moving on. But your new jacket is fantastic. Thank you. I like Mass Effect. Oh, as do I. <laughs> as do I. So we've agreed that this might be purgatory. Yes. This might be heaven. Probably not heck. Each double hockey sticks. This does not give me heck vibes. I, I agree. It's not heck and vibes. <laughs> yeah. Heck and vibes. All right, let's continue. Great. Fan no, no further explanation needed. Bunny smiles. 1974. BSI. Okay. Thank Ooh. you for being a part. Oh, hold on. Sorry. Thank you for yeah. being a part of what? Now? Thank you for being a part of, oh, of the Bunny Smiles Corporation. So, okay. So now we're rewinding back in time. So we were just at 1971. Now we're at 1962. So we're getting back to like the early days of the franchise. We're hitting the greatest hits. Man. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Uh, yep. He, dude, he's listening to, to Sonic music. He's, he's doing a bop right there. What is, what is, sorry, child. I'm, I'm uh, sorry, child. Sorry. I, I, I was going to yeah, let this go. She's definitely eating a napkin. Right? I was going to let this go uncommented <laughs> on. And then I'm like, no, I can't. I can't. What, what, what happened with this girl? Like, as a child, you do, do stupid things. <laughs> and you make choices. But, <laughs> and sometimes those choices are just odd choices. But it's not exactly something that, like, put... <laughs> If I were editing this, I would not put this in unless there was a purpose, maybe. It is. Or you just think it's funny. It is odd, man. Because yeah. I'm assuming this is what? Stock footage or like of, of an old yeah, it's commercial? Yeah, something. Yeah, I, like this is pulled from. I, based on how Walton Files has tended to go, like I don't think that he's going out and shooting this stuff, yeah. right? Like I think this is just an old timey video that he found either in uh, stock footage or just on like old commercials or yeah. whatever. So who's, who's filming this girl eating her napkin? I, like, Bond's Burgers must be delivering some delicious burgers. Yeah, when you gotta, like, have the juice off of the neck. <laughs> right? When the, the burger's so good, you gotta suck the juice. Ugh. <laughs> suck that juice! <laughs> it's like, sorry, not to digress, of course, we're, we're two minutes into this 36-minute epic. Anyone else eat the dum-dum sticks when you have a sucker? Like, the dum-dum sticks? Anyone? No. Ash? Like, the stick the lollipop comes on? Yeah. Do you eat it? Eat the stick? Yeah, I man. thought that was an edible. No, I, I mean, anything's edible if you try hard enough. <laughs> oh my god. No, I have never done that. Okay. Sounds like a food theory sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I love 
that you're just delivering everyone their like years we of got work content. to do you do you got work to do <laughs> no like because when you're sucking on a dum-dum right the stick is made of paper and, and like when you get to the bottom of it it's so moist from your i'm so sorry <laughs> it's so moist from all the saliva that it's kind of flopping all over the place, and the, the paper starts falling off in your mouth. That, I'm, at, I'm going to be real, that's never happened to me. And at a certain point, you're just like, you know what? I don't have a trash can around. I might as well <laughs> oh, my chew God. the rest of the oh, stick, like, as, and it becomes gum. So really, you're just recycling it in your mouth. And so you just chew and chew and chew and chew, and it degrades and degrades and degrades. And you're like, all right, I might as well swallow this. And then you've eaten the entirety of the dum-dum plus the dum-dum stick. Like, okay, so bold strategy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I won't shame you. Thank you. Normally, what I do is I, I eat the lollipop, and then you have the wrapper left, yeah. and you just put it at the sticky end, oh. and then throw it away. <laughs> Never considered doing that. That's generally what I do. Not that your method's wrong. <laughs> it's weird, though. Okay. <clears throat> In my defense, and apparently I'm, I'm the only one of three here, but I'm sure the comments will come justify me, because you guys are sane. Um, oh, my God. <laughs> clearly. Uh, strangely enough, Ollie, unprompted, does the exact same thing. Like father, like sometimes. son. I, I don't. Maybe it's genetic. So I'm surprised by some of the stuff that genetics has dictated. Because oh I did not teach him to do that. Yeah. Hair and color, eye color, earlobes. Do you eat the dum dum stick? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So this girl maybe is in our. Maybe I need to maybe try a eating a napkin. Yeah. yeah. Maybe it's a dum dum. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, en enough about my strange <laughs> dum dum eating habits. Star White. Cyber Fun Tech. Which is the LGN logo. Yeah, it really is. Yeah. We'll chase our dreams across the sky. Oh, hello. Oh. Yeah. Chasing dreams across the sky. We were in a very like, foggy, cloudy place we were. before. It's, it is an interesting... <clears throat> it's an interesting... Choice uh, of words. Choice like, of words. Yeah. Also, I, I do got to call this out. So you got like, you know... All these, all the regular yeah. crew, but and what, then a creepy baby, a creepy baby doll. Yeah, do you remember those old PlayStation commercials? Yes, yeah. PlayStation Three era, where it was like where it was the floating baby. They thought yeah. it was a great idea to have like a creepy baby doll be their like spokesman, and it's like why? And it's like crying in some of them. It's weird. That, that's the vibes I'm getting. Just calling it out. I don't know who that would be. We'll chase our dreams across the sky. Is this the second time this is going, or did you go back? No, oh, this is this is the second time. We came back to it. So so it's like a, a mishmash of like different tapes being. Like spliced together. Yeah, it it had. I I love the vibe of of that old school VHS tape because yeah. you. I mean, I had that. I grew up with that, and you would tape over the same thing over and over again. You would reuse the VHS yeah. tape over and over again, and so you had this layering of history in a lot of ways as fragments of one video bled into fragments of yeah. another video, and you just kind of like kept reusing it, which is what you're seeing here. Ooh, except it's an old DVD, I guess. Bonsberger promo, Cyberfun programming demo, Shod joint movement, and BSI cleaning procedure. See, the magic of old school DVD menus. It's real. It is. Bunny Smiles Incorporated. For professional use only. What do we have here? Do we know who the top character is? Did I? I don't immediately recognize them. Admittedly, I'm I'm not as up on the Walton Mike Walton Files lore, right? As some other franchises. Yeah, I need to. <clears throat> but I do not recognize that character. Where fun meets, I don't know, genius. Ooh, where fun meets genius. I think you're right. And then you have this like odd, ominous thing in the background. It looks like a frog. What is that? It's not looking like anything that I recognize immediately from the fran from the franchise thus far. But it's like okay, interesting. Do you see? See, I, I think the, the big circle in the back is just, like, a, a color splash, and I yeah. think there's a thing in front of it that's, like, it, it look, looks like eyeballs. It does look like eyeballs. Are there's, like, two lights or something? It could I don't be know. It's very strange. Yeah, it, it's very odd. I just want It's probably going to be out. answered in, like, two seconds, <laughs> knowing our luck. How, how dare you? Okay, Charles Brock. Charles Brook. Hi. Oh. oh. <laughs> the one time I don't, yeah. I'm like, oh, this is going to, okay, go for it. Read it. Uh, that's say? Just... Got, got hired. Yeah. Just got hired officially as the computer supervisor for... Unnamed. Yeah. Unnamed. My favorite restaurant. Unnamed Bunny... Smiles Restaurant. Smiles, Smiles Restaurant. Ooh, I do love me some unnamed Bunny Smiles. This is, like, I wrote it, the handwriting, so bad. Though I've be begun... Though I've been. Though, though I've, I've been, been up uh, with a few names... I've been coming up I've with a few names yeah. myself. I've been with a few names myself. I've known these guys for a while. They'll... Their family... I've done some work for them. 
um, along with. I've oh yeah, that is, that is along. Along with. I've done some work for them along with Evan, Dean, Ton. With blank yeah. for years now. Even before Cyber Fun Tech. Susan. Susan, that's it. Yep. Thank you. With Susan. Uh, getting to meet the way waiting Waltons. Waltons. Uh, and the crank what the Crankins. Crankins. Has been super fun. <laughs> So excited! I, yeah, I feel, I feel so, very stupid. So, 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 so I will take. So, this is just your eye test, Lee. This I do need new test. glasses. I, so, so excited to get to work. The future is bright. Uh, from CB, nailed it. Thank you. <laughs> Those bionic eyes I got. Here we go. CB, who's CB? Crazy bunny. <laughs> Shoot. Cy Cyber Bunny? Uh, no, Cy who? Oh, it's one of the. It's. I think this is going to be the guy who's in Boozoo. Uh, I forget his name though. Uh, Walton Files Wiki. Let's go to that Wiki. Yeah, character. Let's go. Let's remind ourselves who CB. A good old list of characters page, please. <laughs> right. Recently changed page. characters. Chris. Nope. CB, not C E. What? Are we sure it was a B? Yeah, it was a B. Oh, it's a yes. <laughs> yeah, it was a B. Yeah. I think is it who else wound up in Boozoo? Bill uh who is in Yeah, possessed by Charles. Charles, what's Charles' last name? Control F, Charles. Right. Just Charles, no last name given. Yeah, it might be whoever whatever Charles is. Last is it where Charles written on her? Charles' face. Who is oh, what is Charles? I forget. What his relationship is to everyone here. Here he's in charge. Brooke. Okay. And there it is, Charles Brooke. Yeah. Thank you. <clears throat> and it's this guy. Yep. There it is. Character from Marvel. The Shrek character. Right? Yeah. <laughs> See, yeah, not much is known about him. I was going to say, we didn't know much about him. And that he was a computer supervisor. Okay, computer supervisor. There you go. And this is him. Yeah. Great. He's not doing great. Oh, Walt oh he's going to appear in Walt Files. Spoiler alert. Ignore that you saw that. Great. He's probably the guy in the room, I would assume. He's in the room where it happened. Oh my god. <laughs> go back, go back. No, go back. Go back. What? No, go back. Go, why? Go. <laughs> Look at the top. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> That's the quality content that you get here on GT, not live. We are so good at being so bad at our job. God. We're like, okay, guys, we're going to overthink. CB, see if only there was a clue somewhere that could put together who CB is. Actually, though, the uh, 2712, I guess. Yeah. Uh, at the bottom. Yeah. I'll probably make note of that. Right? Psalm 27. Psalm 12? Right. Psalm 12? Psalm. See what that says. P page? My, my first thought was page. But. Yeah. I don't know. It could be page, but like 2712, that's, that's not time, even if it's military time. When I see stuff like this, I think of like Bible verses, right? Yeah, like that, book, verse. Yeah, Psalm 2712 is, Deliver me not unto the will of mine enemy, for false witnesses are risen up against me, and such as breathe out cruelty. Hmm. Interesting. That's, so that's if it, that's specifically if it's Psalms. Yeah. Right? Because there's a lot of books in the Bible, and they're all kind of like written as like book verse kind of thing. So it might be that. I don't know what else P could be, though. But when I see P, I think immediately Psalms. Charles Brooke! Huh? Hey. We got it. Got him. We thought we would have been here. Not me. <laughs> Man, three minutes in, and we're delivering <laughs> such deep insight into this franchise. Good job, everyone. This channel's in good hands. <laughs> <laughs> Come join the party. It's always a party here at Bonds Burgers and on GT Live. Oh, bud. Hopefully this music is copyright neutral. Wow. Doesn't sound like it. <laughs> Man, it, what child would not want to experience this at their birthday party? I, I'm grooving out. Like, the, this took every design philosophy of, like, a cute character and was like, what if we didn't do those? <laughs> right. Yeah. What can we do to make well, our let's let's make beady little eyes, small head. Here we go. We're gonna get a secret oh, video here. Ooh. 
Let me, uh... Worm. It's, it's Q, just saying. It, like, it's, yeah, yeah, well, they're gonna me, start um, building it. Yeah, go ahead and start writing this down at the very least. Is this part, is this baked into it, or is this a closed caption moment? Yeah, it's baked, it's literally ba baked yeah, in. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay, so that is important. Yes. YouTube <laughs> dot Q. Yeah. Q, capital Q specifically. Yep. That's gonna be relevant. Wow. Boozu. This is Boozu's big love ballad. <laughs> the idea of giving... Oh, it actually is? <laughs> wow. The idea of giving a horrific animatronic like this his own, like, solo love ballad is crazy. It's Sergeant Boo Boozu. <laughs> Sergeant <laughs> Boozu. <laughs> oh. Hello, children. Man. Look at these kids just having a grand old time. I don't know what it is with kids eating things that aren't food, yeah, but like, instead so just like, thumb. Right? <laughs> a lot of oral fixations happening amongst this child group. Napkins, thumbs, not any actual things that should be put in their mouth. Rock out. <laughs> it is, it's, it's like Yellow Submarine if they reduce yeah. the budget for it. <laughs> Did you ever watch uh, uh, Help? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 100%. Yeah. That's all. Okay. <laughs> no, nope, nothing else. Okay. Full, full yeah. stop. Yeah, the Beatles used to make movies. Yeah, yeah they did. Yeah. They almost made a Lord of the Rings movie. But that's Get... Com what? Have you not heard about that? No. Yeah, they, they had like a whole plan for a Lord of the Rings movie, and they like approached Tolkien to get the rights. Really? Uh, I can't remember if it was before or after Tolkien. I think Tolkien died in the 70s, so it would have been before. Yeah. Yeah, and the idea was, like, uh, John was going to play Gollum, Paul <laughs> was going to play Frodo, Ringo was going to be Sam, and George was going to be Gandalf. <laughs> this is 100% real. I am not making any of this up. Wow! I Hold on. Hold on. I need Ash, a year oh, on this. Sorry, Ash has thoughts hold on, on this. Hold on, I need to get a year. I'm so I sorry I've derailed. I, I, no. thought, I thought I was going to have no, all this, this trivia. No, you, you do! <laughs> That's why it's stopped And we're going to move on? <laughs> no, certainly not. This is GT Not Live. Would oh, you expect us to watch this gosh. in real time? Get out of here. Ash, what? let us know what you found behind the camera. Yeah, I need to figure out when they pitched this movie. I am fascinated by this. Okay, maybe we'll react to the Beatles forgotten <laughs> Lord of the Rings spinoff at some point. <laughs> yeah, the album would have smacked. That's all I'm saying. It's so true. It would have, actually. That would have been fascinating. All right, here we go. Ooh, Ooh, that was a cool transition. It was. <laughs> Loose shot <laughs> in the sky with diamonds. She has so many kneecaps down here, just by the way. Oh, 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 oh hello. Hey, oh, uh. hello. I mean, this might be one of the things you were talking about where, like, so many tapes overlaid onto each other that, like... Right. Uh, that's the effect it's getting. Yep. Keep an eye out for individual letters for this... Yeah. Hidden guy by the... Man, if that lighting isn't <laughs> ominous at all, this is a character who just wants to give me a hug. What if we underlit everything? <laughs> right. They are rocking out. They're living their best life right now. I think he's lip syncing though. His, his lips are matching <laughs> up. I'm gonna call him out. He, oh, 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 oh! There was a lot happening in that moment. A lot, a lot. <laughs> Didn't expect to land on a group of okay. sneaky eyes right there. Okay. So red square first off. So it's so in this franchise, right? And in franchises like this, it's censoring something. What would it be censoring though? I'm, not, I'm trying to see what's in the background. So this is the full, the woods, right? It's a forest yeah. setting. Historically, the red has been the spirits of the two dead kids after they die from the car accident, the, the drunk driver accident. Historically, that, that red has been kind of used for mm -hmm. them or to depict them. So maybe it's them appearing in the woods potentially because they, they get buried in the woods. Yeah, okay, and then there's the obviously the tie of that character. Yeah, to me, this looks like the collar and tie and, like, head shape of a person wearing a suit. So this is what, Jack Walton? This is who's in Bond, potentially? Is this the spirit in Bond? And we've been wondering yeah, could, where could Jack could Walton is. Could you, like, uh, go back and forth? Like, he's, he's a bit high. Like, he's yeah, not, yeah, like, I was hoping it would be, like, a little bit more overlaid. Yeah, he's but... not one-to-one, -one, right? Like, he, he doesn't, he, it's not like, oh, this is very obviously the that spirit. That is a potential implication, though. But it is, right? Like, is this Bond, potentially? And then, hey, hello. <laughs> that, it's, just, it's just a little guy. I think that's Rosemary, if I remember right. All right. 
CBF 72. It's probably the year in Cyber Bunny. 72. Fun? The eyelashes <clears throat> make me think that this is what, Shaw? Beautiful, isn't it? This is one of the first mech models built by Cyber Fun. Cyber To bring the magic of yep. Bond's burgers to life. Today, we'll take a oh, Cyber Tell, thank you. The magic of the showstoppers and how they were created. You might learn a thing or two about the quality of our company. Cool. That's great. I'm very excited about that. Love those old school, like, the 60s and 70s. Yeah, right? Yeah. Concept Ooh, I love art. Concept art. Great. There they are. That's them. I like how, uh, you know, usually these sorts of old school stuff kind of leans more towards Disney. I like the, like, Looney Tunes mm -hmm. lean that this has. It is very Looney Tunes, isn't it? Yeah, like, especially the, the bunny. The face of the showstoppers. The face of Bunny Smiles, Inc. Concept art is a very vital part of any good design. It's true. So many different ideas to... Oh, 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 I was learning stuff, man. Yeah, don't be, don't be cutting out. I back just to see exactly what that said. Because it, it, like, cut off. To... So yeah. many good ideas to pick from. And, and I meant the, um, there's, like, a title. Oh, oh. the art okay. department. It, it was just, I, I didn't see the thing at the top. Yeah. It's just the, uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, wait, hold up. I think that's just a repeat of the same thing. I just want to make sure. Yeah, just for The Bloody Smiles Incorporated art department was in charge of pitching up multiple designs for the characters. And creating the designs we all know and love. I will say I prefer this and creating the this design clown design. All... I agree. This this clown design is significantly less murdery. <laughs> it's the mustache, right? <laughs> or the lack of mustache, rather. No, just the the general like, hey, I look like a normal, fun, cartoony <laughs> clown, as opposed to my eyes are hey, blank kids, and soulless. Yeah. Come over here. <laughs> my eyes yeah. are blank and soulless, and I'm slowly gonna steal you and lure you into a sewer grate and kill you. I love that the bunny is just Mr. Professional, though, the entire time. Bond is like, Walton, okay. loving wife of, is a brilliant artist. Didn't even say his name. It did, that is, that's interesting yeah. that it didn't say his name. Walton, wife of, is a Why? And, and, yeah, and there's like, there's, it's definitely what it's supposed to be saying. There's the space there to mm -hmm. say Jack Walton. Uh, so he's been cut out, removed from history? Like they yeah, I, I wonder if, if the red square is in this, and that is some symbolic of the kids trying to censor something. Yeah. Maybe that is, like, another... They're trying to really just get rid of him. Ask yeah. Oh, yeah. So, I will mm. say that um, even that last bit where we had um, Cyber Telly, like, the subtitles were different. Like, mm -hmm. there were certain words that were different from what it was saying. Yeah. So, the captions are probably something we should keep an eye on. Yeah, yeah 100%. For sure. Agreed. Good call. Thank you. With a huge passion for poetry and the theatrical, and has done numerous art pieces before becoming the lead artist in BSI. She's the one in charge of making the <laughs> <laughs> ne Nepo wife? Uh, way to way to horn in on your on your husband's business, Rosemary, for your failed art projects. <laughs> Even though we've established that the art was better than the final right. designs. <laughs> Nepo wife. I think I always had a pretty clear idea of how each guy looked like in my mind. The designs just made sense to me. Oh. Hello. Hello. Hello, Frank Perfect. <clears throat> oh, this is from... I didn't see the date before. April 30th, 74. Okay. The designs just made sense to me. Yeah, it's right here. It's going to be her again, right? Yeah, it's just her. Yeah, she's going Yeah, interesting that that... That's happened multiple times now. Well, she... Okay. She becomes Shaw. Right? She eventually gets mm -hmm. shoved into Shaw. I wanted to make them seem appealing to younger audience, while still being simple enough so they can be easy to remember. Bill Clown! Nope. A little blurry there. Shouldn't be moving while we're trying to take old school photos of you. <laughs> that, here's the thing. For as scary as this whole thing is, that sun behind her face, that, 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 this is the villain. This is the true villain of the Walton Files, right here. That thing will literally murder me in my sleep. I, like, I like how you can make something even scarier by just having one eye like slightly off. <laughs> right? Like behind someone. It's horrific. That is horrific. That thing will haunt my nightmares. <laughs> Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if someone's soul got shoved into <laughs> yeah. that thing. You know like the, the memes about the sun in Super Mario Brothers 3 that's like the evil sun <laughs> yeah. that chases you? Like this is it. I was thinking Teletubbies. 
<laughs> That's a baby son, Lee. Yeah, Don't then, be then, then it grows up into this. Oh, <laughs> baby son all grown up. Hello, I saw. I, I know. I saw that there was a was perfect screen, perfect thing here. Yeah, I kind of see like a face. Murder. A uh, that's yeah. clearly someone who's been murdered and <clears throat> flattened no, by. Clearly, obviously. that's that clearly a, someone has been steamrolled, <laughs> squished. You'll squawk. Well, do your job better, because the tape has failed, and I can't hear you anymore. So, <laughs> who really let down the side, Susan Woodings? You. I keep hearing Bob's burgers. <laughs> we added a ton of features into the models. Just a, just a sad, yeah. overworked dad in the background, <laughs> beleaguered by his kids. Yeah, this, that's basically this. Yeah. Same thing. The fact that Bob's Burgers has not done an animatronic episode, I feel like missed yeah, they're, yeah, they're leaving it on the table. Yeah. Gotta slip that even make them have the ability to walk and interact with the audience. Please turn off that Whoa, what are, would you, uh, Oh yeah, what do you need? Uh, I just saw something at the corner of the screen. Yep. Yeah. No, okay, just jumped back for a second. Yeah. Down at the bottom right corner, I thought I saw a letter or something. Yeah. There's, oh, that, there's that face in the in the side. Yeah, we're seeing some dead dead faces there. Ooh. They do be peeking. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Sneak. <laughs> it even looks like it's going mm. right. Peekaboo. <laughs> Oh, oh, there okay. it is. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that is gonna... Oh, that is definitely... Okay, Mr. Kranken. Yeah, upside down and reversed. Best of all possible worlds. Well, oh. play through and see if it gets any clearer before we uh... do a lot of... <laughs> yeah. Oh, jeez, and there's... Knocking. And... Nope. All right, let's try to read it. Susan, first off, it says Susan Woodings has been... Has been struggling to be. It's like br something. <laughs> yes, Susan Woodings has been bring. struggling to bring to day, something day. Oh, oh, it actually goes down oh, here. Hey, day, wait. and it, it cover it comes down here too. I was about to say, hey, a bunch of letters. Do you want to take this into like Photoshop? I was gonna suggest that. Try I mean, to, like... we could to. Oh, come on, I'm trying to. If so if I can I, read I'm, this I'm, upside I'm, down, I'm that would be sending amazing. you. Something. Okay, fine. <laughs> I'm sending. Fine. I'm sending you this something. All right. Fine. We'll we'll screen cap it. Okay. Now that we've been able to do all that, let's edit things, shall we? Let's. What do you think? Horizontal flip. And then no, vertical, vertical flip. flip. Yeah. Right. I think it had to be a two. It had yeah, to be a two-stepper. It, it couldn't just rotate it because like there was some funkiness going on. Right. Funky. Or not. It okay. needs another horizontal flip. Another horizontal flip. So basically back where it was. Great. It was wrong. We, <laughs> there it is. Hey, it's so much easier to read when it's like Mr. this. Mr. Kranken, this is Norman. I'm sending you this, and I can't read that. <laughs> <laughs> this note, maybe, or something? This letter on behalf of our... Uh, of our deal between bunny smiles and cyber fun... Tech. And most importantly, the well-being of our cyber tech staff. We've... Been getting a lot of complaints about uh, a number of our staff going missing. Ooh, going missing who have highly associated with you and your team. I love that we just kind of like it's, it's like, like yeah. popcorn. It's literally passing the baton. <laughs> huh. Can you Su read that part? I can read this. Susan Woodings has been popcorn missing, missing for a week now, and here in Cyberfun Tech, we are working as hard as we can to try and manage to get. In contact <laughs> with her. Is there perhaps any detail you could hand <laughs> us to help locate our missing employee? I'm going to be entirely honest with you, Mr. Kranken, and tell you I have a ton of questions and suspicions about whatever is going on with your company. Whatever it is, it's making both your company and mine look bad to public light. So again, if there's anything... That could help. Popcorn. Fine, Susan. Uh, <laughs> Write us back immediately. Thank you. I'll see you Monday. Great. Okay. Fine. Susan. <laughs> Good job, everyone. 
Uh, so that's why the tapes suck. It's because uh, Susan's dead. Right? How, how many people does it take? To read one to, frame. To, to read a frame. There we go. Perfect. There it is. Uh, Honestly, I think it's the thumbnail of the video. That right there. Yeah. It's a win. Rotate. What, um, I was trying to see if there was, here, show transform controls. I was trying to see if there's a world where, you, what's, what's the thing around the edges, say? Susan has been whatever. Are you specifically talking about the stuff that's on the, the screen left the right background. now? In the background. So it's like uh, going over the person's, it, it like coming out of their eye almost? Yeah, so, so it was this thing, right? So, let's see if I can zoom in. Susan has been struggling to breathe. breathe? I think it's breathe. Susan has struggling to breathe for two days. He... More. Any more. Any more. This is A N Y. Any more. Any more. She. I don't know. It's all blurry. Yeah, and it, it, it's the degradation of the tape has gotten like yeah. all those. All that light color has been smushed. Right. She is not alive anymore. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah, she dead. She dead. So now with that out of the way. <laughs> that worthwhile endeavor. <laughs> well, it, it, okay. I mean, it is worthwhile yeah. to some extent, right? Because we now... Oh, hello. Because we now know... We know that Susan is dead. Well, we know and, Susan is dead, yeah. which we suspected for a while. But I think more so it's Felix being complicit in what's going on here. Because I think one of the things that's been questionable is how much do people know... Mm -hmm. How are they either making this happen or not making this happen? Like, Felix is getting letters being like, hey, our employee is missing and yeah. we are concerned about this. Yeah, that is, that is something generally with these sorts of franchises that uh, you start to question a little bit. Where yeah. it, like with FNAF, for example. Yeah. Like, hey, Mr. Afton, all these kids are going missing. What's up with that? Right. And whereas it, it feels like mm -hmm. usually it's just... Well, they went missing. Yeah. Oh, well. Right. Next restaurant. No, and so the fact that the world around yeah. Susan and the world around Bonds Burgers is currently like, hey, you need to do something about this, or like, what do you know? I am suspicious of what mm -hmm. is happening there, shows that Felix is not innocent, like you might assume, or like, oh, no, that poor guy who's undergoing all these problems and accidentally killed these kids. It's like, no, yeah. he is actively being He is aware villain. that there is a problem, and yeah. it, he is involved in said problem at the very least, yeah. if not the cause. Exactly. That was a blue thing. It wasn't, thank you. Good on. Here is where all the information and code is stored in the audio animatronics. How they can walk, sing, interact with the audience, etc. Over 40 different responses. Thank goodness. Walk, walk around interactive features, facial tracking. They can recognize specific customers. The, I love the fact that all these FNAF spin-off franchises or things that are kind of adjacent to that world and, and inspired by that world all have, like, technology that is so far beyond, you know, yeah. oh, it's the, don't worry, it's the 19, like, 70s, 80s. Yeah, we can track and we, recognize you. Right, yeah. like, we, Scanning, scanning. We have a database that definitely recognizes you. That's how they managed to feel so lifelike to our audience. The console is also able to recognize specific people and places. Lee, you want to take this? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Popcorn. Yeah. Uh, employee note number 104. This is from uh, CB, who at this point we've established. Charles, Charles Brooks. Brooks. Got him. Look at us learning. We got it. Uh, <laughs> it didn't even take us 20 minutes to figure out. <laughs> it's a little bit of startup momentum. No, it's uh, the BSI console. The Bunny Smells Incorporated console allows the robots of... Mm, Boy, it looks like boys. really. Like feel a lot of something bunny smiles no funny i don't know feel a lot more lifelike and now for a more oh, fun and impressive and 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 allow, and allow for a more fun and impressive experience i think this is an ambitious and innovate interesting excite i don't know something innovating concept, concept. innovating concept yeah uh would love would have never expected to make would never have expected to make in my life susan did not support disappoint not disappoint at all absolutely stunning and delicate more something felix was both i don't know fascinating never seen anything jack jack okay so jack so it's interesting they're calling out jack jack was fascinated and 
something and, and never seen anything like so jack was really pro jack was fascinated and never seen anything like like right yeah. and then felix meanwhile felix was both amazed and and scared he doesn't mm -hmm. understand about this stuff so so basically it's setting up this idea that that jack's like yeah all aboard this new tech this is exciting let's go and then you have felix who's who's the nervous one of it being like hey i don't think this is right for us so it's setting up that dichotomy between like hey there's friction between the two owners of this company oh boy <laughs> oh boy no damn it gosh walk around test weeks one and two week one um Bonnie knocked over the table uh-huh rework rework from recognizing feature no wrecking Something like that. Re, yeah, like a G at the end. Yeah, uh, the test went well. Recognized Sophie. So eventually, the next test went well. She recognized Sophie. Boozoo's magic trick bit went well. Little crusty. Rusty. Little crusty. <laughs> rusty. I think it's rusty. I like crusty I better. <laughs> yeah, his magic trick went well. Crusty. Little crusty, but we'll do better next time. <laughs> Week two. Uh, Banny was fixed. Test went as planned. Mask broke. From last incident, something. Bond walk around went well. Test. Bond walk around test went well, way better than expected. Mask broke. So, this is the baddie mask that broke. A new mask will be made by Friday. There should be a something spare one. Spare one. Good one. Yeah. Spare one in the workshop. Cool. Look at us. We're getting better. Welcome to I, I think it's because you're doing it, not me. No. Tag team. Popcorn. Cyber fun. The, how many advanced. logos? Yeah, this does is this... Like, I feel like we're now in 80s. Right. Or at least seven, like late 70s. There are so many logos and eras for this darn company. <laughs> you're like, hey, here's all of them. What is the Cyber Fun Council? If you're still... If you're st it is. It is me. You're right. If you're still asking oh, this a decade later. Was, uh, something in the corner. Just oh, wait. Was on. there? Uh, yeah, yeah, like on the uh, actual title card, and I want to make sure. Yeah, okay. I think Cyberfun Tech nineteen seventy four. Yeah, yeah. Trying to make sure it wasn't like part of the code. No, appreciate that. Walk around test. Sorry, what year was this? Seventy four. Yeah, I saw seventy four at the end at the very least. So yeah, one twenty one seventy four. Okay. Yeah, I don't worry. It's working. First, we need to. Is the console on? Yes, yes, Charles. I just told you. All right, all right. Uh, I'm just checking if everything's going. You know who this is? Charles Brooks. C otherwise, B otherwise, known CB. As, otherwise known as CB. I think that's Susan. <laughs> what? No way. Yeah. She's, hold She's dead. It. <laughs> not, not here. Certainly not yet. Or is she already dead? And <laughs> <then>? Yeah, I <laughs> know. <laughs> Five mind blows all at the same time. Don't worry. This isn't the first test we need to do with the robots. All right, great. You're taking notes, right? Uh, yes. Yeah, I am. I don't believe that he's taking notes. Right. Press two and three. Movement. Movement. All right. All right. So, so let me get the console working. Yeah. yeah. Right. Testing mode one. Bunny smiles. Ink. User Banny one. Stat inactive. Protocol L ten. Okay. So L ten is movement test. Ah, right, this is how it's supposed to go. So then maybe this is. Some objects around the room. The animatronic is supposed to get to us without bumping into any of the tables, boxes, chairs. So this is probably like a com uh, computer view of like what comes across any object. Right. But then we're just going to have to test this out again until we get this right. Long night then. Charles, with that attitude, it's going to be a long night. <laughs> Charles, had some faith, okay? All right, everything seems fine so far. Let's keep it up up here so close to the table. I told you to watch for the table, man. Sorry. What's going on? Where's the wrench? I check the drawer. I think the jack left. Interesting that this time it said Jack. Like oh the, yeah. That yeah. they were allowed to say Jack in this one. I don't know why. Also, that the three of them were uh, left there momentarily. Oh, facial training. <laughs> Tracking. That's too. Tracking. Great. Both of those <laughs> things. Good one. Popcorn. How can it track the faces when it's looking at me? Huh? <laughs> Who are we really looking at here? 1974. So a couple months later. Yeah. A couple, yeah. Actually, a couple I'm years later. And the other one was... Seventy. It was like January 21st, 74. 74, yeah. So a couple months. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, a little worried. She did, yeah. 
I'm gonna tell the answers here. No, Felix, he's probably drinking somewhere in town. Oh, great. Does Jack or Rose know? Nope. I don't think Linda told him that. Or Logan. <laughs> 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 yeah, Titanic <laughs> references, guys. <laughs> it is a Jack Ro King of the yeah. World! <laughs> he is King of the World. Until the with, Avatar. with Avatar 5 and 6 and 7 and 8. <laughs> I like the thought that Jack and Rose... This is the alternate timeline where Jack and Rose survive the Titanic. And right, Jack right. goes into business as an animatronic yeah. restaurateur. He's like, listen, I know at some point in the future, because I'm a time traveler. Right, I know, the, yeah. the time travel I know theory. at some point in the future, kids are going to go crazy about these animatronics. Right, that's it. I don't maybe, know when. <laughs> maybe that's why he had to die in Titanic. Spoiler alert. Maybe that's why he had to die, because otherwise... Th this Five is Nights the, at Freddy's would have happened the, in, like, the 20s. Right. <laughs> that's it. That's what's going on. Chris knows about the addiction. I'll just focus on work for now, shall we? Right. <clears throat> so, uh... I'm checking my notes right now. What's up to do? Well, Norman said we should start testing the facial tracking feature, so we're going to have the robot walk around and see if it recognizes our faces. Well, we checked that out. Jack brought Ed and Molly here, and the council recognized them. Well, yeah. Ed and Molly, those are the two kids. Jack brought Ed and Molly here, and the council recognized them. Well, yeah, but we're going to do a secondary test, because the console seems to have trouble detecting the faces. Oh, the test we did with Sophie, right. Sophie's mm -hmm. there, yeah. I see how the test goes. Hey, Lily, by the way. She's fine. Spending time with her mother for the weekend. Oh, oh that was quick. Good. Right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, it's recognized. <laughs> Identify fate. So it's... Target acquired. Right? Yeah. <laughs> oh. 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 Wow. Well. Okay, I feel like this is like a point of view shot of like... Right. facial recognition. What's up? <laughs> Unimpressed face. That was kind of cool. That was cool. That was that was cool. Oh, whoa! Okay, that transform. Was really cool. Okay. Susan Woodings. Nice. Nailed it. What is this emotion? If if this is a bank of emotion <laughs> and facial features, oh. what what emotion is this? <laughs> Let's program this face into the facial tracking software. What is that? The, what the, emotion is this, Lee? This is a. Uh, oh God! They adapted the FNAF movie into a book. <laughs> ah! No. I was like, I'm pleasantly surprised by this. Oh, mildly annoyed. That's Ash when an upload goes up late. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, this is also Charles Brooks. I'm assuming. That would make sense. Oh, fuse. Ah, great. Everything seems to be working properly. Huh. So that means no more testing for today? Yep, very much. Ah, oh, sweet. That could really use a beer right now. <laughs> yep. Like Fair. That's a vibe. Uh, yeah. Awkward. Wait, way to bring back our boss's drinking problems again. <laughs> hey, see you later. Like, wow. Yeah, bye. That reminds me of his problem with alcohol. All right, peace out. Talk to you tomorrow. Sorry, there was a small child scaring at me scarily in the background. Ooh, uh, yeah. I'm assuming this is Lily. This might be just mm. my my lack of like ha having brushed up prior to this, but I don't remember who Lily is. I don't know if I should know who Lily is. I mean, obviously, it's it seems to be Charles's daughter in some capacity or related to Charles in some way. I I'm trying to think of who Lily was. There, is she connected to Sophie? Anyway. This is unrelated. Yeah. Not unrelated to that entirely, but there's a famous image of, like, a, a, a like, ghost kid uh -huh. peeking, like, over the stairs that that really reminds me of. Oh, yeah? And, uh, yeah. Who's who's ghost kid? Should I look up ghost kid? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I would Google. It's, like, an actual picture from, like, I think, um, the family that the, uh, yeah, that one. It's the, that first one. You see oh. that kid? That's terrifying. Like allegedly, this was just hey, we're taking a, we're just taking pictures around the house. Yeah. Of this haunted house, and this is a. Oh my god, I can't remember. It it, it there's a series of movies out. Um, Amityville. And, yeah, exactly. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. No. Nope. <laughs> it's that family. That. <laughs> Pretty good at reading context clues. I don't know if you know this about me, Lee, but when there is text on a screen, I consume it all, and then make judgments accordingly. Mm. And so like. I'm like, oh, Amityville. That's a thing. It's but but, but like, was it Charles Brooks, though? You know, let's move on. <laughs>
Get out of here, Charles. I actually don't think that. Like, what? Right? Yeah, what whatever. It? What? <laughs> no, it was great. <laughs> Glitch. Glick. Glick. Seventy-four. So a couple months later. This is where things start to go badly. I suspect. Or maybe not, maybe this is where things go black for a long time. He was drunk while driving the car. Oh, the drinking problem did come back actually. Did. Okay, so at this point. You'll think Felix's story. Hold up. Just calling this one out. Calling it like I see it. That's a ghost. <laughs> right, right. You got all your usual, you know, you got your, your, your usual. You got your, your Bond the Bunnies. You got your Shaws, your Bannies. But, uh, uh, then you have like a murder bunny and a ghost. Yeah, right. <laughs> then you got, yeah, possessed murder rabbit and obvious ghost. <laughs> Looney Tunes style yeah. ghost. <laughs> like Halloween costume level ghost. <laughs> right. Like it, I do think it's interesting that like, it, what I was saying earlier is this screen is clearly like this is the UI that we're seeing if we were like from yes. the point of view of the robots. Right. It's interesting if it is indeed a ghost and yeah. an actual ghost. Right. That they have an icon for it first of all, <laughs> right. but like like oh it can detect said ghost. Yeah. Uh, other thing I'm calling out here though is like you can see that so this is the bunny that presumably the, the two kids one? Uh, or, the the that the that Molly and Ed yeah. are in. So there, it's it's here, and it looks kind of rough around the edges. I'm interested in the fact that Bon Bon here is. I don't know if this is just a glitch of the system, or if this is like you know, it's just not a high quality image. But he does look like there's some the, um, cracking or bleeding or like dripping of the eyes or something here. The um earlier the sheet said that the mask broke, and it that pointed was, right it pointed right there at or was it that? Character? I thought that was for Banny though. Well, well, we'd have to double check. Yeah. The only reason I call that out too is they're talking about Jack, and Jack is still around, and Jack is here, and this mm -hmm. and that. And for a long time, we said, hey, is Bond the bunny Jack? Like, as you kind of associate character for, you know, char like human character to, like, animatronic character, Jack has been one that's like, I guess that's going to be Bond the bunny. We're not sure. But if Jack is alive and Bond at this point is possessed, which he might not be, but we'd have to double check, um, that's interesting because it would mean that Jack and Bond are not one of the same. Uh, is it Bond? Molly and Ed? I don't even want to think about it. Look at that freaking fucking doll in the room. The, the, the rabbit? What's it doing here? I feel like that it is. Tell us not to tell Jack over there. Oh, that's great. I don't even want to be involved in this shit anymore. Might want to... <laughs> he told us not to tell the parents that the, this <laughs> obvious place where he hid the bodies was here. Right. Well, so he Felix buried the bodies, but he took... The, I, I, don't, I don't know why he... Did the doll come back? Did, I, I forget if Felix buried the, the rabbit with them or not. That's the question mm -hmm. I have. We have to but go back and double check that. Either double check. I don't know if it's been revealed. I don't know if that's mm -hmm. in an earlier episode. Like, I'd have to double check the status of that. But I love the fact that she's like, I'm told not to tell everyone that this is a thing. But I'll tell you. I'm really excited for all these things to start moving. It'll be creepy and scary. Oh, you know, let's go. Oh, Ooh. oh, not who I expected. But it makes sense again. They're they're the ones who died. Oh, or is that just a sheet covering something? It could, I mean, it could be like a ghost. So, oh. recognize the faces. Face detected. Track feature start. Is it gonna? It's gonna recognize Molly and Ed. I'm assuming. Because this is uh, this is them being recognized mm -hmm. through the lens. Through the doll. Of, yeah. Ooh. Yep. Yep. You were spot on. Oh. That's really oh. cool. Oh, there's a third one though. Oh, hello. I'll go back. There was a, another text thing that kind of... Right, why are in. there three... Unless it's one repeated? 
It kind of looks like the the face on the left. Right, it does. Like, I, I'd want to like take that and overlay it and actually see. Oh, hello. Yeah. Uh, Ed and Molly. So it says no faces found, but it does say Ed and Molly. <laughs> Creepy. That's neither Ed nor Molly. Who are you? Kind of gives me the same vibes as the face that was doing the uh, mm earlier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, that one. Yeah. The one that was making that text really hard to read. Right. Also, this is definitely reverse text. Yeah. Like, obviously, it's it, like we'd have to clip it and reverse it. And maybe we could do that later. ESI technical support, audio log number three, June 3rd. The first? The first. Yeah, with the F, up, F and T upside down. Interesting. The whole a lot of stuff upside down. I was going to say, it's actually the whole thing upside down. <laughs> Did you know when you flip H and E and I, <laughs> yeah. they don't look upside down? No, it's, it's fair. Yeah, that's totally. <laughs> it, it's strange that they would so specifically yeah, only those just flip <laughs> the letter T, F, R, and T. <laughs> And also reverse the S a little bit. So, uh, why would they do what? Hmm. Our theorizing is on point today. I gotta say, we're really nailing it. It's June 30th, 1974. Oh, you're so right. Unless it's the 30th. The 30th the month. The 30th month of the sixth day. <laughs> Ghost is still hanging out. Oh, Ooh. upside down face is hanging out actual ghost well, right we've got yeah ghost is still I, I, do, I do think that's just a sheet covering you think something. so like i feel like it would have moved by now <laughs> that ghost is oddly yeah. still yeah he just really likes that spot man. Really, he's, <laughs> he's planted it's like ann from arrested yeah, development way to plant like, ann like the haunted doll has moved and now this uh clearly spooky mm -hmm. thing is moving i i do feel like that's just something with a sheet over it the robot. Okay, so this is... Okay, so this is who Bon is. And th this is a big reveal. Because th this whole time we've been waiting to yeah, find out who this, Bon is. This creepy face. So, like, options there. Maybe it's Susan. Well, Susan go... It's like that, that creepy face was superimposed over the letter saying, hey, Susan has disappeared. Where is she? Yeah. So that, that is an option. Love all the variations of her. <laughs> Why would it be upside down? Is that it flatlining? Might be the beep of the like thing. Yeah, higher and higher like mm -hmm. it had been. Oh, and that wasn't Susan because she just showed up at the last bit there. It shouldn't be Charles. I thought, I thought we were pretty well established that Charles was um, boozy. Mm. Too close. Also, classic mistake. Right? It won't take long. Good old Felix. Oh, look. Okay, so there's. No, you you might be right then. Oh yeah, it is. It's something with a sheet draped yeah. over it. No, you're yeah. totally right. I wish it was a ghost because that's funnier. It is funnier. <laughs> what what is it? Is it the clown? It must be the clown. You have the clown, the ringleader, Shaw, Banny, and Bon. And so the only one who is not present in there has got to be the yeah. clown, right? Yeah, that makes sense because the the white bear would be the, the little stuffed doll, maybe. Well, there's the the white bear is in the last one, and it I think he was symbolic of like either addiction or death. Um, I don't think he was a physical animatronic though. Whereas gotcha. whereas the clown absolutely is. Hello? Oh. No need to be worried about the fact that it just like <laughs> fell over. That's fine. Perfectly normal.
is like simulated heartbeat getting faster. I like this. Oh, hello. Oh. 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 Oh, oh. oh no. Oh, oh my god. Her. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh my gosh. Susan. Oh. That was that was a snap. <laughs> Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, that's just dark. Oh, no. Not great. Oh, just... This is it. brutal. <laughs> right? This is, this is horrific. But she survives this. Because she's been missing for four days, right? She hasn't been able to breathe or whatever for four days, but like... The, the, I don't know, that looks pretty dead. <laughs> I'm just I'm just reading what the ghostly text that we spent like a half hour trying to solve was telling me, okay? She does seem very dead. I mean, she could be missing and also dead. And you're having, you have a hard time breathing if you're dead. Oh, he's so proud That's, of his yeah. creation. Oh, my beautiful creation! That's weird. That is... brutal. For a, like... <laughs> for a show that is like... Yikes. Uh, yeah. It hasn't... The, the Walton Files has never shied away from, like, scary, uh, gruesome imagery, but right. I feel like this was especially, like, That's, disturbing oh. in, in, a, in a, a clearly intentional way. Oh, no, wow. it's, it, is, it is dark. Um, oh, wow. I, I, oh, yeah, I forgot that. They, they hide some of the stuff in the, the description, too. Um, okay, tape four. Here we are again, mystery solvers. COVID cooled down, and after three years... We finally got my aunt's VCR to work. <laughs> I have so much to say, but I'm going to start with the technical stuff first. Back when I found the Bunny Farm tapes, I was met with a dead end. Bunny Smells Incorporated, Bonds Burgers, gave no more results. Locals had no more info. I went back to Connecticut to live with my dad. That was until my friend David approached me with an amazing find. David decided to ask locals about the term Walton instead. Apparently that's a name that pops up a lot in the tapes. I haven't watched the tapes myself. Yeah, you're just uploading the tapes and you haven't watched them? Fine. <laughs> That's a good way to get banned from YouTube. <laughs> right, you gotta watch out what you're uploading. Uh, we were directed to a vintage strip mall that had this one bowling alley, Starley's. Originally, there was a workshop in that building instead, and when they moved out, uh, Starley's bought the space. One locker remained labeled Walton inside a box with a cheap safe. Apparently, the box has sat there for decades because they haven't managed to bother to open it. Me, Ron, and David did some digging through the previous tapes and noticed the pattern. The code was 722. Curious. Inside, there were a total of 23 tapes. I moved back to Brighton, Michigan to help my friend fix, clean, and compile the tapes into what we call the Cyberfun Tech Collection. This is part one of three. Interesting. Talking about this video or talking about... <laughs> right, I was going to say, that's interesting. So is this part one of three with the finals or what? Let's see. Cyberfun Tech is a company that funded and created most BSI properties. It's unclear whether CT owned BSI. Uh, or whether they were simply partners, so Cyberfun Tech owned Bunny Smells Incorporated, or whether they were simply partner companies. Or perhaps Cyberfun Tech bought BSI at some point. Either way, all the tapes were labeled Cyberfun Tech, and supposedly these were supposed to be handed over to technicians and artists. I should note some bits of the compilation are weird. On some screens, it would appear as minutes and minutes of empty static. And on other screens, it would appear to be white with faint voices heard on them. How would you know if you haven't watched it? Though? Right, that's what I was yeah. going to say. I call foul on yeah. that one. I see through you, Anthony. As for me, I'm doing, I'm doing great. The past three years were filled with some of my happiest and saddest moments, but I'm still standing. I'm going on vacation with my girlfriend for a few weeks. I'll post parts two and three when I return at the end of the month. So this isn't... So, yeah, so they're, they're pulling a, uh, a Hunger Games. Right? So Hunger is, Games 3 part one. Yeah, is this Walton Files 4 part one? It's, it certainly sounds like there's going to be more parts two and three. Or maybe that's what we're looking for when we're putting together the secret code. Or maybe, oh, the, yeah, maybe the links already exist. Maybe the link already exists and you've got to find it. Or alternatively, maybe parts, maybe we won't be able to complete the code and the rest of it will be in parts two and three. I don't know. That's interesting. Because looking at this, I'm like, oh, this is the finale, but maybe there's more here. Um, I feel like this is a good place to break. We've been going for a while, right, Ash? Yes, we have. You know, seeing the horrific murder of Susan... Feels like a big deal. Yeah, there's going to be... I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt the, the... There's going to be a Walton Files 5, which is the Cyber Tech Collection Part 2. Oh, okay. So. That makes sense. And then... Yeah. Six. So, ignore everything that we started... <laughs> 
See, <laughs> that's why you read the text on screen. Re always read the description first, and you got to make sure that you, you read all the text. Yeah. Otherwise, you're going to try and, and spend 20 minutes figuring out what CB stands for. When it was at the top <laughs> of the page the entire time. Well, I appreciate your eagle eyes, Abs Lee. Ab I'm glad I could help Thank uh, you. read the chicken scratch. Yes. Okay. If, if, yes. if you could help, <laughs> yeah. that'd be great. And uh, appreciate you guys, you know, sticking with us while we <laughs> fumble our way through. And everyone's like, it says Charles Brooks at the top of the screen. Oh, they love it. Oh. They love it. Love. So anyway, <laughs> we'll be back to finish up the back half of this uh, shortly. Um, and in between, I'm going to brush up on a bit more of the deep lore, so that way it's not just like, oh, I remember the broad strokes, but I mm -hmm. want to remember some of the dates, I want to remember some of the timeline here. I, I, and at this point, we've solved one of the biggest yeah, mysteries it, that's been lingering, which is who's Bon? We saw Bon just get possessed. Who it's possessed by, though, I think we, we need to solve that. Yeah, absolutely. Like, we were already going to do a theory on this anyway, but right. yeah, like, I'm with you. I want to dive so deep into the lore of this franchise. Yeah. And, like, this was really cool. And we're only halfway through. I'm excited to see the rest. Right? And, and now that I know that this isn't the end, I'm very curious where we're headed to. Like, it seems like this is, like, one large finale. I'm also curious if, it, if this is accurate. I'm post parts mm -hmm. two and three at the end of the month. Which would I don't be, know. yeah, like, Couple uh, weeks. Yeah, a couple weeks from the time of recording. If that's real. So we'll find out. But uh, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That's part one of Walton Files 4, the ending stretch, I guess, uh, which I'm really curious <laughs> the, about. The, end, the beginning of the end of the beginning. Yeah, but, uh, you know, that's us just fumbling through. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, as always, go support uh, the Walton Files on YouTube. It's a fantastic series. If you haven't watched any of the ancillary content, there's a lot of spinoffs uh, in terms of, like, supporting pieces that have helped build out the lore. It's it's worthwhile going back and watching the whole series again. It's it's so creepy. Like don't don't watch this tonight. It's terrifying. Uh, I am going to have chills down my spine the entire rest of the day. So uh, anyway, thank you Lee for joining me on the couch. Absolutely. Thanks Ash, for having me. Thank you for keeping us on the straight and narrow. For sure. And as always, thank you guys for watching. And remember, it wasn't a live stream, but it was a video. A video for you. See ya.